Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to write a piano concerto. We're going to write the third movement um, of an F major piano concerto. We're going to write it in rondo form, so to give you some information on uh, writing rondos, um, as well as a bit of orchestration. Um, so I'm in Sibelius and I've just gone down to orchestral and we'll just use a very simple classical format. Um, we are going to write it in 4-4, four, four. we're going to have it in F major. So as I say, this this is the third movement of um, an F major piano concerto that we're writing. Um, okay, so the plan is um, we need to just add a piano to the score. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so what I want to do is I want to begin the piece by having a uh, begin the movement by having a piano solo. And we're going to go for a four bar question and a four bar answer. So we've got eight bars of piano solo, and then we'll have an orchestral city coming in, just repeating that that uh, um, that music, really. Um, now, I just want to start this off with an irregular bar, but I won't bother for the moment. I'm just going to go for just putting in, um, just have to wait for it to do something. Okay, so. And we'll have that as a quaver, and this one as a that. Right. Let's turn the volume up so that you can hear it. <clears throat> oh, I think the volume is quite low because it hasn't loaded the uh, sounds yet. So we'll just start the first bar off in the, on the chord of F. You know, we're in F major, so that seems sensible. Let's just have an arpeggio up. Um, that naturally goes to the B flat. Okay, so we've just got in within that one bar. We've got the F and then the dominant seventh there. Going back onto the chord of F, we can have a passing note there. Oh, there we go, the sounds come in now. Um, so we've got this so far. Okay. And we can just hold that. <clears throat> okay, um, let's just put the key um, bass line in, I guess, which is just F, A, G, B flat. That creates a nice pattern, rising thirds, if you like. Um, now we can have the left hand imitating this arpeggio here, because uh, we're on F made off on the on the chord of F here. So let's do that. Oops. Okay, so we've got this um, in F here. We'll go to four for the so chord of B flat for the uh, for the next part of this four bar phrase. So we've got four bar question. As I said, we've done these first two bars. We want a bit of difference. We're going to be on B flat for this one. Okay, so we're just on B flat there, and we can just have this held this time. We could have some kind of motion like the bottom of the first uh, bar there, um, or technically the second bar, but we could probably just hold this just for a change in uh, in you know texture rhythm. And that naturally, of course, goes down to the first inversion of, of F.
OK. <clears throat> and here, obviously, we're resolving back to the F. We can do that to, through a chord of 2, 7. So that's because we've got this B flat coming down to the A, which then comes down to the G. That's just the natural progression. And then the dominant 7th, and then F. OK, and we could then pick up this material again to lead us into the answer phrase. So let's um, have that. Maybe getting out this time. Okay, we could tie this F over for effect. Uh, then that F naturally resolves down to the E. Um, and let's just put some. We're missing, so we're, in, we're on the chord of F here and the chord of um, the dominant seventh here. And <clears throat> in both of those, we're missing a C. So let's just have a, a C in there. OK. OK, so I think that should sound OK. OK, so we've got two bars here, and two bars here. So these four bars constitute our first four bar question. And we'll write a four bar answer in the next tutorial. Um, we've just basically got going from F to the dominant sevenths back to F. And then, just for a bit of interest, going to B flat, <clears throat> going back to 1C, and then just doing a cadence there, and then we're going to move on. Okay, so hopefully you can join me next time, and um, you know, please subscribe and, and like if you like these videos, and um, join me next time. Thank you.